Hello. Today I will be talking about movie review number 459. And this movie is called The Batman. The Batman is a 2022 film directed by Matt Reeves. And this stars Robert Patterson as Bruce Wayne slash Batman. So, this is a one of those pictures in DC Comics film that I saw on April 16th, 2022 at City-Based Cinemas at Kenwood in Kenwood, Ohio. And here is a little bit of fun trivia. April 16th, 2022 was when I saw the Batman movie with Robert Patterson in it. Six years ago, on the same exact day, April 16th, 2016, which was also a Saturday, was when I saw Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice at the Rito Cinema 16 movie video in Deerfield Town Center in Mason, Ohio that starred Ben Affleck as Batman. Interesting, huh? So, that's why I probably waited until that one. A little bit of irony. But yeah. So, the Batman 2022 movie starring Robert Pattinson in it. So this basically features Batman, I believe, maybe in his second year of being Batman, of Bruce Wayne being Batman. So Batman ventures into Gotham City's underworld when a sadistic killer named the Riddler leaves behind a trail of cryptid crews. As the evidence begins to read closer to home and the scale of the perpetrator's plans become clear, he must forge new relationships, unmask the corporate, and bring justice to the abuse of power and corruption that has long preyed the metropolis of Gotham. This was a really, really good movie, in my opinion. So, this stars a bunch of actors and actresses in it, like Robert Patterson, of course, as Bruce Wayne as Batman. It has Zoe Kravitz as Serena Kyle as Catwoman. Paul Dano as Edward Nashton as Riddler. Jeffrey White as James Gordon. Let's see, Amy Sutis as Alfred Pennyworth. Cohen Farrell as Oswald Copperpot slash Penguin. It also has John Tutoro as Carmine Falcone. And there were other actors and actresses in it. But yeah, this was a pretty good movie in my opinion. So, years of a Batman solo film, well first I should say, 10 years ago was the last Batman solo film to come out with The Dark Knight Rises during Christian Bale's Batman. Then four years later, Ben Affleck suited up as Batman in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. But that was not a solo film, that was more of a team- I mean, Well, I would just say team up between Batman and Superman. And then Ben Affleck starred in Justice League, which- be, which will develop into Sassanino's Justice League. Thank you, Sassanino. But anyway, a solo Batman film starring Ben Affleck as Batman came into discussions a long time after the movie, after Batman v Superman came out. But Ben Affleck decided at first to give the directorial duties to Matt Reeves. Originally, Ben Affleck was in a duet and star in the Batman film, but then he decided to drop out of directing, so that got to Matt Reeves. But Ben Affleck decided to quit being the Batman, although he will reprise as Batman in the upcoming Flash movie. But this, this became a reboot of the franchise, starring Robert Pattinson as Bruce Wayne as Batman. Now, this is not part of the extended universe that started with Man of Steel. No, this is more of a standalone Batman story taking place in a different period of time. Um, but yeah, Robert Pattinson does a really good Bruce Wayne trash Batman. 
Although I think he's more Batman than Bruce Wayne in the movie. Um, just to let you guys know, this is a very long film. Two hours and fifty-five minutes. Yeah, very long. But it's worth it, guys. It definitely has a lot of details that we into bigger reveals later in the movie. And like I said, this movie also features Catwoman and Penguin. They're not necessarily villains in the movie, but let's just say they haven't developed the villain personalities yet, or as far as It's kind of like the, the TV series Gotham, where it takes place before they actually become known as these big villains. Whereas the Riddle, on the other hand, is the villain in this film. And unlike Back in Forever, where Riddle is more of a comedic guy, that's not the case in this one. Yeah, the Riddle in this Batman movie is as a basic killer. And actually darker, I'm gonna say. I was really impressed with how they did it. And I thought this movie was pretty good. I like the scenery, I like the acting, and I really like Man Reeves' take on it because he got to do his version of Batman. And even though I would like to see Someday, maybe a Ben Affleck Batman solo movie that would have featured Deathstroke. I thought Matt Reeves and Robert Pattinson did a really great job at this movie. In fact, one of those pictures just announced that there would be a Batman 2. Well, originally, Matt Reeves said, and even Robert Pattinson said that they would like to do a trilogy. But one of those pictures just announced that there will be a Batman 2 with Matt Reeves coming back as director and Marvel Patterson coming back as Batman, so that would be interesting to see. But yeah, this was a pretty good movie, guys. You guys uh, check it out. Now, I don't want to reveal spoilers, but I will say that some part of the plot takes back to Bruce Wayne's memories of his parents being murdered, you know, the origin story of Batman. But, Oh, I really don't want to say this. Um, let's just say... I'm trying hard how to say it without spoiling anything. I mentioned that Riddle, Catwoman, and Penguin were in the movie. Let's just say there was... You can't exactly see the person. But you can hear it, I won't say which point in the film. And once you hear it, once he talks, you might know who he, he who he might be. And I really don't want to discuss spoilers. I really don't. But people who have seen the movie can probably understand what I'm referring to. But yeah, don't check this out, guys. It is worth the three hours. So that's my movie review of the Batman. Please stay tuned for my next movie review. Bye. Bye.